I'm here to tell y'all the truth, according to the Bible. Not what this society has been teaching you, not what Christianity has been teaching you, but we're going to give you thus said the Lord God. That's, That's right. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1. Let me show you something before you go. Come the back, let me show you something before you go. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, and verse 10. Come on. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. The Most High God set us up over the nations. Why? Because the nations were going to tell y'all lies. The nations were going to come out here and oppress y'all. But he did what? I have this day set thee over the nations. Because we're going to come tell y'all the truth according to the Bible. Yes. The Bible is for you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We and over the king. Over the what? And over the king. God set us up over this, this nation. America, Babylon the Great. Because Babylon the Great ain't do nothing but lie to us. Babylon the Great ain't do nothing but murder us. Babylon the Great ain't do nothing but oppress us Bro. as a people. Bro. Bro. And over the kings. Come on. To root out. To do what? To root out. We are here to root out all these lies. When you root out something, you take it from the bottom. You got to get every single lie that America has told us. Bro. America has told us we're African American. Where is that in the Bible? America has said we niggas. What I said in the Bible? The Bible called us the sons of God. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. We and to pull down. To do what? And to pull down. We gotta pull down all these lies that Christianity have taught our people in slavery. That's right. Your great grandma passed that garbage down to your mama. That's right. Now your mama passed it down to you. We and to destroy. To throw down. To do what? To throw down. We are here to throw down all these lies. We to build and to build. We got to build y'all up. Let y'all know that God say y'all are His chosen people. Y'all are the Israelites. Y'all are above every single nation that is born the face of the earth. That's right. And I'ma prove that next. We and to plant. To do what? And to plant. To plant the seed in you to let you know that you are gods on this earth. That's you right. men, you men are supposed to come out your sin and be a god. Now give me De um, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 76. I said that we're above everybody. Let's see what the Bible say. And let's see why your church never read this scripture. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art in holy people. God said you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans are holy people. Meaning guess what? Y'all are set apart. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Most high God did what? Have chosen thee. The God did what to you so called black, Hispanic, and Native American? Have chosen thee. We. To be a special people. A special people. He told us to be special, not to be whoremongers, not to whore our sisters out, not for our sisters to be whores, prostitutes, our men to be game bangers, thugs. That is not what the Most High told us to be. He told us to be his royal, precious jewels. We. A special people. Unto himself. A what? Unto himself. He said, oh, this is my people unto himself. We above all people. Now equal to everybody. Above all people. Let's march for equal rights. Above all people. Above all people that are what? That are upon the face of the earth. That's right. Now somebody please explain, explain to me why your pastor never read that in church. Read that again. We gotta let that marinate. Read that again. Do the right. Yeah. Chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, I know everybody heard that. I ain't even, even got to break that down. But why your pastor don't never teach you that? Whoa. Back to Jeremiah. Because we got to tear down what what um, the so-called white man, the Edomites, had told our people. That's right. All that is garbage. All that is lies. Y'all are the chosen people of God. Read that in Jeremiah 1. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. 10. See, I have this day set thee over the nations. Now y'all can understand why he set us up over the nations. Now you can see that thing. Because guess what? The, uh, the nations did teach you that you above them. The nations are not going to tell you that you're a God chosen people. So guess what? He going to raise us back up to give y'all the truth and give y'all the knowledge. That's Read. right. And over the kingdom. Uh-huh. To root out. Now I told you we got to root out that we're equal. We are not equal. We're above everybody on the face of this earth. Read. And to pull down. Pull down what? These strongholds that's searing in our people's minds.
by. All these false religions going around here. We gotta pull all that garbage down. We and to destroy. We and to throw down. We to build and to plant. To build and to plant. That's all our God told the people. But guess what? Y'all gotta repent. Y'all must repent and come back to the Most High God. Ezekiel 18:23. Bring it out. Ezekiel 18:23. We must repent and come back to the Most High God. The Most High God don't want to kill our people. But guess what, bro? If we don't repent, they got to go. Hey, but let's see, do he want it that way? Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see, do he want to put you to death? Let's see what he's going to say. Read. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? God said, have I any pleasure that I must put you to death? Have, am I going to have some pleasure with that? Read. Say the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live. So he wants you to come from, from your ways. He wants you to stop being uh, in adultery. He wants you to stop game banking. He wants you to stop doing all that, that uh, wickedness. Read that again. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Said the Lord God. And not that he should return from his ways. Repent and live. And turn from those wicked ways and keep the command and live. That, give me Baruch 4 and 1. Baruch 4 and 1. He said, uh, turn away from your sins. So guess what? Even the, the, the small thing like the frenzy. I heard when the, when the, bro, the um, soldier was bringing out about uh, uh, all these commandments he said about the frenzy and all that with GMS teams. Guess what? It's about keeping the commandments to hell with what they're trying to dress up and what they don't want to do. That said, the Lord, let's see what the Bible says. Read. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Let's see what he said. He said, repent. And, and uh, get life. So let's find out what life is. Come on. This is the book of the commandments of God. So this whole Bible is the books of the commandments. So guess what, friends? This is a commandment. You know what I'm saying? Keep your beard is a commandment. We must learn these things and, and apply these things. Because that's what it's all about. Read that top part again. This is the this, book. This, this Bible is the what? The book. The what? The book. The what? The book. Of what? Of the commandments of God. This is what it's all about, people. It's about keeping God's commandments. It's about, hey, brother, you got a question? You got a question, brother? Hey, don't be afraid to ask no question. Quran. Quran is garbage. You know that, right? Read. And the law that endures forever. And the what? The law that endures forever. The law do it forever, bro. These friends and stuff endure forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. Shall do what? Shall come to life. Shall do what? Shall come to life. Shall come to life. So guess what? That's that life that we're supposed to keep. You see what I'm saying? Give me all uh, Proverbs 23 and 23. This is for you, brother. It said come to life, right? Come to life. So guess what? This right here is going to explain something. I want you to catch this, right? Read. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Yeah, six. No, no, 23 and 23. I want 23 and 23. Buy the truth. It said do what? Buy the truth. The Bible said buy the truth. When you buy something, you say this, you buy this sign. Well, it's going to be with you, right? Because you bought it. So that means it's going to be near and dear to you. So it said buy the truth. So guess what? We got to buy into keeping these commandments because the truth are the commandments. The truth is the law. We're going to prove that in a second. But the truth is the law. It said buy it. Purchase it. Keep it close to you. Read. And sell it now. So don't sell it. So when you sell something, what, it leaves your possession. You see what I'm saying? So don't let this, this truth leave your possession. Because what, Read. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Because you're going to gain wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Read it, read it again. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. Buy into these commandments, bro. And don't let the other camps fool you as if you ain't got to keep these commandments. That, that's what it's all about. You, you know it's about loving the Most High, keeping His commandments or not. That's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no gray line. Ain't no, ain't no um, in between. No. You got to keep the commandments and live or, or die. Just like we just read. Give me Proverbs 72. Give me Proverbs 72. Let's prove it. Let's prove that. So don't have, I want you to leave here not having a doubt in your mind, bro, that you got to keep these commandments, man. Don't let no other camp lie to you, bro. Uh -huh. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Do what? And live. Read. 
and my law as the apple of thine eye. So that's the most precious thing we're supposed to be uh, walking out of. That's precious. You see what I'm saying? Give me Ezekiel 14 and 6. I want to, you ain't gonna leave here, bro, without get, getting sealed, bro. You got to get sealed with this, with this, with this law, man. You can't, you can't walk away. Do you know what that means? Free. Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. Say to who? The house of Israel. That's why we are here in, in, in the middle of all Alabama and Broad Street. For what? Read that again. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. Because y'all are the Israelites of the Bible. Y'all are, right. are God's chosen people. You so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all are the house of Israel. That's why we are here giving y'all the truth, regardless of any circumstance or situation. That's we gonna do that. Read. That saith the Lord God. Come on. Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. Just say I'm sorry. Repent. Repent means turn away from. If you're if you in, uh, in adultery, turn away from that thing. Don't stay in there. And then talk to that, try to use grace. Read up. That ain't what grace teaches you. Grace teaches you to deny those type of things. What? Grace teaches you to, to turn away from, not to come back to that thing. Don't be standing in that thing and then, oh, I'm in grace. I can do what I want to do. Hell no, that's a lie that the Christian church taught our people in chains. Read. And turn yourselves from your idols. You see, he said what repent is? Read that all together. You see, he's explaining himself in a sentence. Read. That said the Lord, repent and turn yourself. Do what? And turn yourself. If you drink, if you get up early in the morning being a drunkard, return yourself from that. Stop being a drunk because you ain't going to make the kingdom neither. Run. Stop being a drunk and we're going to prove that next. Read. And turn yourself from your idols. Turn yourself from your idols. If you're following the other nation, you in idolatry. If you're following Thanksgiving, you in idolatry. If you're following um, Fourth of July, you in idolatry. Run. Easter, that's idolatry. That's not in the Bible. That's not thus said the Bible, thus said the Lord. That's thus said Esau, the Edomites. That's, right. that's, that's right. what that is. That, those are their commandments, not the most high God commandments. Read. And turn away your faces from all your abominations. Abominations. Give me, let's see what abomination is so we can get a clear picture. What abomination is. Let's see what God take. I mean, what abomination is, what he just said. Read. Give me, no, give, give me what you about. Give me some rock 15 and 13. Abominations. He said, turn from your abominations. Turn from your uh, um, sins. That's turn right. from being a gangbanger. Right. Turn from being a murderer. Right. Turn from being a whole monkey. Right. Turn from those things. That's turn, right. and even the sponsor. Turn from, get out those pants, sister. Turn, turn from that. That's the thing. Read. So what? Chapter 15. Let's find out what abomination is because the, the most high God said, repent and leave those abominations alone. So let's find out what abominations are according to his word. Read. So what? Chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hated all abominations. The Lord what? Hated all abominations. The Lord what? Hated all abominations. Read. And they that fear God love it not. So guess what? If you fear the most high God, you're going to hate abominations too. That's, That's right. why we, it, it's a sad state to look at our people and see them all in their abominations. That's why we out here crying aloud like the Bible say do. Matter of fact, give me that. That's why we out here crying aloud on the street corner. Because guess what? We hate to see our people in those sins. That's right. Because we know if they don't repent, they're going to die. That's, That's right. right. If you don't repent, you're going to die. And we gonna, I'm going to prove that next well, out of Christ's mouth. Christ going to speak after this. Read. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. The Bible say do what? Cry aloud. That's why we out here crying aloud. We ain't no Joel or Sting. We ain't going to be whispering, whispering out here. We grown men. We're lions of the most high God. That's right. Not no damn kitty cats. Read. Right. Spare not. Do what? Spare not. He tell us we ain't, we ain't not here to spare our people feeling. Because guess what? Our people are rebellious as hell. And we, and we spare our people feeling. They'll try to run all over you. You know how our people do. But he said what? Spare what? Spare not. We spare whatever um, you was told. We don't give a damn about what they told you. In Christianity. That's, That's false. Right. That's garbage. We don't give a damn what they told you about being a Muslim. That's garbage. Read. That's Lift right. up thy voice like a trumpet. What we, what we gonna do? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Now I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people have been in the band and, and they know what a trumpet is. Repent or die, brother. Read. And shoot my people their transgression. Do what? And shoot. 
white people their transgressions. That's, that's what we gonna do. We gonna show our people their transgressions. Cause we ain't spare no damn feeling. We don't care about your damn emotion. We don't care about your feeling. We gonna tell you, just said the Lord, repent or die. We in the house of Jacob, their sin. In the house of who? Jacob, their sin. So we supposed to, we are commanded to show our brothers and sisters their sin. So guess what? Because we on the boat and y'all in the water drowning, we got to extend our hand to bring y'all to the boat. That's right. That's what we doing. Right. We extending our hand to get y'all on the boat. Right. Because when Christ come back, you are gonna die if you don't repent. Right. Luke 13 and um, Three. Luke 13 and five. Let's prove. I said, if you don't repent, you're going to die. Let's see. Am I going to lie you about this? Or the Bible going to say the same thing? Read. Luke chapter 13, verse 5. And, better, Three. and by the way, Three. this is, this, and by the way, it's five two. and by the way, this is red letter. This is Christ speaking. Read. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent. Except ye what? Repent. Except you come out of being a gangbanger, a murderer, a whoremonger. Uh, um, in uh, homosexuality, you got to if you if you if you don't come out of that what, ye shall all likewise perish. You go die if you don't come out of your sins. That's what we out here preaching. We preaching repentance. Excuse me, teaching, cause preaching would be down in the church house. Read that again. Luke chapter thirteen, verse five. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise. perish. Perish. You got a question, sister? Give me um. You got a question? Mark one and fifteen. Oh, okay. Well, just listen, then. You know who you are according to the Bible? Who? You. Me? Okay. Well, I know I'm Israel, but okay. Who are you? Huh? You what? Okay. You listen to me. Okay. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna put the heat on you yet. Read. <laughs> Mark chapter one verse fifteen. Come on. And say. The but time. guess what? But guess what? Listen to this then. You listen. Read. And say, the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. What what Christ said? The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at, at hand. Meaning, guess what? It's close. At hand, meaning it's in reach. It's in reach. The kingdom of heaven is at reach. Meaning, guess what? Time is running out. I don't know. I don't know what day or, or, or how we coming. But guess what? He said it's at reach. Read. Repent ye and believe. Do the what? Gospel. Do what? Repent ye and believe the gospel. Believe this gospel that the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God chosen That's people. Right. That's right. Right. Believe the gospel that the so called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, that the kingdom of heaven is for you. Believe that gospel. Believe the gospel that Jesus Christ is a black, so called black man. According to the Bible, not no so called Caucasian. Look, that is not the gospel. Believe the true gospel. Believe that you must keep God's commandments to inherit the kingdom of God. That's the gospel. Read that all over again. Mark chapter 1 verse 15. And by the way, this is red letters. This is Christ speaking. Read. Right. And say that time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Do what? And believe the gospel. So we must believe the gospel. When you believe, give me believe. Give me um, uh, some rock 32 and 24. Let's see what believe is. Is it just what the pastor told us to do? Just, um, I believe in Jesus and that's it. Is that is that what believing is, people? Oh, I believe in, 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 in Jesus and that's it. No, that ain't believing. Because guess what? If I told you a million dollars in your backyard, it, 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 would you just stay there and believe that? Or are you going to go into that backyard and dig up? Right. You're going to go try to dig that thing? I said a million dollars in your backyard. And you, and, you, and you just sit in the house saying, yeah, I believe that, I believe that. Hell no, you're going to get you a shovel and everything, you're going to be digging. Right. You're going to be digging. That's what you're going to do. Free. Surah, That's chapter right. 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord. So, so, he that believeth in who? The Lord. Uh-huh. Taketh heed to the commandment. So, if you believe, if you believe this gospel, if you believe this Bible, if you believe the Lord, you're going to do what? Take heed to the commandment. To the commandment. So that's what I'm telling you, brother, about with them other counts. That's garbage. Read that again. Sirach, so chapter 32, sickety, sickety. verse 24. Hey, just, man, come on. Right, I'm upstairs. Come on. He that believeth in the Lord, take heed to the commandment. So if you believe in the Lord, you believe in the black Messiah. You, been, you say you've been on you Israel for a year? Two. Two? Oh, bro, you got to tighten down. Come on. 
and he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worst. So you ain't gonna fare never the worst, because guess what? When judgment comes down, you ain't gonna fare never the worst. The worst is what? Dead. You see what I'm saying? That's right. So give me um, um, Psalms 119 and 60. Bring it out. Psalms 119 and 60. Two years, bro? Come on, bro. I, I still learn. Okay, I'll pray. I don't know. I'll pray. But here it is. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delight not. Wait, wait, wait. He said, what? What happened? I made haste. You know what haste is? Haste? Yeah, he made haste and delayed not. Put it all together. Read the whole thing. Psalms chapter 119, verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. You know what that is? He made haste, man. Guess what? He he hurried up and did that. Oh, I gotta get friends. Oh, I'm getting these friends, bro. I ain't waiting no two years. Oh, I gotta I gotta um keep my beard. Oh, but I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting no more. I'm gonna let my beard grow. He made haste. Read that again. I made haste in the light not to keep thy commandments. He made haste to keep. You gotta keep the commandments. So rock five and seven. So rock five. So guess what? We ain't no more uh uh slow footing, but we call it. Ain't no uh um, I can't say what. Okay. But you know what? You got you got to get it. Right. I ain't no, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Because we're our friends every day, right? Every day. Every day. Did that say sometimes we got to keep it? No, I'm just saying because, you know, like I say, the job, sometimes they don't, they don't, it's a certain uniform we go by. So, you know what I'm saying? When I get out, just throw my friends in there. That's, that's a good point. The brother asks, do you have to wear the friends all the time, even at our jobs? Yes, sir. You know why? Because you can tuck, you can tuck um, yeah. a shirt in and with your friends on. Yeah. You still got them on, right? Yeah. What, so what law you breaking? Right. See what I'm saying? Right. But that's what the mother count trying to teach. Oh, how can I wear that word? Bruh, tuck them in. That ain't that's difficult. That, that's hard. Is that hard to figure out? No. Hell no. Come on. So Rock, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Hey, make no tarry. Mean, don't be taking no time to turn to the most high God. Because guess that's what? Right. You can walk across the street and get, get hit by a bus or something. Bruh, right. hey, don't be wasting no time. You time is short. We don't know. We don't borrow time. This ain't our time. Like we gonna we know we gonna wake up every morning. No, you don't know that. So do what? Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. So don't make no tarry on turning to Him. Don't waste no time, man. Come on. And put not off from day to day. So don't put it off. Well, you know what? I guess I uh get these friends today. Well, you know what? I ain't gonna get them there. I get them tomorrow. Well, you know what? I get them next week. Well, you know, it ain't that serious. You know what I mean? Read that again from the top. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and and put not off from day to day. So don't put that out on uh, uh, James one and twenty two. So don't be don't be playing no game. Cause guess what? We we don't know if we gonna live or die. You know what I'm saying? So when once you repent, you gotta teach other brothers to repent. Now drop that drop that. Give me uh Revelation one and fourteen. How you doing? One and fourteen. Revelation one and fourteen. This gonna be, come on, this gonna, we got, well, let's let the Bible speak. Let's show the sister, let's show the little sister. Let's show her, her beauty, that she a royalty. Let's show her. Read. Revelation, chapter one, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like, say, read that again. His hair, his head and his hair were white like wool. White like wool, sister. So Christ's hair was white, like wool, wool in texture and white in the color. Read as white as snow. As white as what? Snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire because what? Let's get that. Genesis 49. Let's show you why his, why his eyes were red. It wasn't, he was Jesus was not smoking weed for That's all right. you reprobate right. minds that want to use right. excuses. That's right. Let's see what the Bible say. Come on. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Red with what? With wine. Because you can drink wine in moderation. Matter of fact, give me the other one in Matthew 11, 18. Matthew 11, 18. Let's show you, let's show you what the Pharisees were trying to say. Just like they try to do to us. They walk by, say little slick stuff. Oh, y'all this, y'all that. Because we're out here giving the truth. So they try to come up and try to lie. Oh, y'all smoke crack. Oh, y'all garbage. That's what, that's, that's just the same people back then or, or back here today. Doing the same trick. Come on. Matthew chapter 11, verse 19. The Son of Man. The Son of Man, meaning, meaning Jesus. Come on. 
came eating and drinking. He came eating and drinking what wine? Come on. And they say, but they, they say, you know, you already know the saying. They say, they said this, they said that, they said all this, right? The same thing. That was the Pharisees was doing. They said what? Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. So that's why I say, oh, he a wine bibber. I mean, he a drunk. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Now this is the this is the black Messiah who walked the earth perfect. But guess what? He had naysayers. He had, he had naysayers. We got naysayers. I'm right. proud they ain't out here. They probably be, be around in a minute. Come on. A friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her truth. Now, come on, get back to Revelation. Which one was that? Which that was uh, Matthew 11 and 18. 19. So now, that's why his eyes was red, because he drank wine. When you drink wine, the whites of your, your, um, your eyes turn a little red. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Revelation chapter 1 verse 15. And his feet like unto fine bread. Wait, hey, you got a penny on your sister. Like fine bread. You got a penny on you. Let's see, let, let's just try to get a visual of what fine bread is. Oh, look there, look what you pull out your pocket. Just, just match that to your skin tone. Match that to your skin tone, right? Okay. Wow, that's already a match, but guess what? Come on. As if they burn. It ain't furnace. So guess what? We take that and put it in the furnace. What color is going to be? It's going to be dark. It's going to be dark, dark brown. You see what I'm saying? I, I put this poster. I put this poster in the furnace. What color is going to turn out? Hey, I know you've burned popcorn before. Everybody's burned popcorn before, right? What color do that popcorn turn out when you burn it? Black. So that what color is the, the Messiah is green. That's it. And his voice as the sound of many waters. We got to get there because guess what? Our people get uh, emotional when we out here talking loud. But what Christ's voice was what? As the sound of many waters. So he had that deep rumbling voice. He had, you can hear him from a long way. He, you can hear him from a long way. Matter of fact, let's get, uh, hold on, Matthew, Matthew's uh, 13. Let's, let's continue to show by this voice. Jesus wasn't talking like no John Austin. All these smooth uh, preachers that be, yeah, you know, well, this is how you're supposed to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hell no. He spoke yeah. loud. He had bass in his voice. Read. Let's prove that. Matthew 13 and 1. Matthew chapter 13. Let's, pro let's, one. let's prove this. Come on. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. So Jesus was by the seaside. Come on. And Great multitudes were gathered together. So it was a great multitude. Just imagine that. You got to visualize this. Visualize this. Jesus on, Jesus on, 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 on the shore side, right? He got a great multitude. Just say it's this field back there, my way back there. A great multitude. Come on, read. Gathered together unto him. Uh -huh. So that he went into a ship and sat. So he was on a ship, and they still was on the land. Listen, listen, watch this. Come on. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And the whole multitude was standing around, just, just picture, imagine that everybody standing around, way back there, come on. And he spake many things unto them in power. So he spake many things. So guess what? How could, they didn't have no microphone. So how do you think they heard the Messiah? He was loud, I meaning he had a deep voice. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.